This is Haraway, a grand city of invention, prosperity, and peace. The people of Haraway are creative and industrious, excited about the advancement of science to better their lives and the lives of their families. ever created by grafting, actually grown from parts of plants and animals, a completely new person with two hearts. These two hearts allow this unique creature twice the energy and twice the power. <laughs> Well, not bad for someone who spends his time gluing fish together. Hmm. Well, let's see you do better with your nuts and bolts. Unlike my esteemed competitor here, my new invention doesn't need a diaper change to amaze you. <laughs> and now made entirely with techno science. The first ever mechanical man complete with a thinking brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the future of all science, T-Boat. Don't be alarmed, he's actually quite domesticated. T-Boat, sweep the floor. Now, polish my boots. Now it's time for you to get some exercise. T-Boat, skip rope. <laughs> Security! Over here! Hmm. Everything's under control. I assure you, he is completely harmless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that, Tinkerer. I hope he's not damaged. I think it was damaged to begin with. So I assume there is further work to be done? Where would you like him delivered? You take it. Do whatever you want. I don't ever want to see him again. As you wish, sir. As long as anyone could remember, the town had been watched over by the ancients, as the people called them, arbiters of justice, symbols of stability and reason. All anyone had to do was look up and they were there. They kept everyone safe, that is, until the blight. The blight, an invisible plague that rolled over the world, bringing sickness and great loss. It came and went without warning, and people were affected in different ways. Some got sick, some lost the use of their limbs, and some even died. The people were divided. Followers of the Tinkerer became technocrats. Those who followed the grafter dubbed themselves biotists. Mm -hmm. One city became two and the blight continued to spread. Mm.
Girl, come here this instant and ready your miraculous brain for knowledge. We will begin with girl. That's what you are. Genius. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm certified somewhere. <clears throat> Thinking is the first tool of invention. As way described, numerical order from the natural chaos will find out the stars that have fallen since the practical Oh, nature is an infection. You need to focus on machines. But, but I am focusing on machines. What can I think? You gotta learn to love, learn to love, learn to love. Admiral Wells is going to be here any minute now. Why do we let her push us around? We don't have to take that. No, no, no. We do. Like it or not, the ancient order put Admiral Wells in charge. She does what uh, they tell her, and we do what she tells us. Uh, <laughs> Quickly! to show you. So we've recently found new ways to, to aid the blight ridden among us using transplantation. This man was blind until we grafted a sea monster to his face. I can't blink. Sea monster? Get it? <laughs> uh, Hilbert. Show them what you can do, Hilbert. Uh, 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 oh, we've made marvelous progress with our marmakeets. They're proving very reliable for predicting electrical storms. Grafter, the ancient order did not send me here to tour a menagerie. Let me make this very clear. The Tinkerer designed my army of Corvacs. The Tinkerer gave me Tebow. Hey! You created an infestation of flying vermin. Do these creatures prevent the effects of the blight? Uh, of course not. No! Does anything here prevent the blight? <laughs> well, Huxley here... The monster boy. Oh, well, Huxley is special. Very special. Of course, we know the blight is spreading. We've all felt its effects, some more than others. But we're all sick, Admiral Wells. You're is there a point to this? Yes, yes, you see, Huxley has never been sick. If you cannot replicate this immunity in others... But Huxley is proof that biotist science, with the proper support, will find an answer. A poorly trained animal is no solution to the blight. Uh, but, uh, if you haven't found a cure, by the time I return, you'll face the tribunal of the ancients. Wrestling marmakeets in front of Admiral Wells? Barking? What barking? Everything that's important to us could be shut down, finished, 
And now that madwoman is threatening to torture me. Or worse, because of you. Dad, you heard her. She wouldn't even look at me. She thinks I'm a freak like the rest of them. Then prove them wrong. You must promote Bayer to science, Huxley. But you were made for this. I'm not a mascot. How are you today? Excuse me? Hello? Oi, watch your step. The floor may be slippery. If you're damaged before tonight's unveiling, the tinkerer will have my head. What's that thing on your head? Oh, my earpiece. Yeah, the tinkerer made it for me when I lost my hearing. Why did you lose your hearing? Oh, everyone lost something when the blight came. Now, have you been misplaced? Misplaced? Oh, I'm not lost. Please, allow me to escort you to the master's laboratory. Oh, it's fine. I know the way. Thank you. Come along. We need to prepare for tonight. Oh, here we are. Easy now. Will it hurt? No, no, not if you hold still. You see, just a small change in the alignment for perfectly calibrated articulation. Oh! Too tight. That feels better. Perfect. Now, let's check your pupil dilation. Father, I see very well already. Shh. Quiet. Your eyes are amazing. Thank you. They can see far outside the visible spectrum. With your eyes, I can make huge advancements in technocrat science. Note to self. Research light spectrum on optics. Father, why is this guy red? It's the blight. But there's nothing to worry about. We can't ruin your life. Blatantly refusing to find a cure. Oh, he always was an incompetent hat. But I suggest we focus tonight on what's really important. Wilhelm, My... darling, we're crackling with anticipation. <laughs> I'm riveted. Oh, we both are, thanks to you. <laughs> You're in for a marvelous evening, all of you. Ah. Hello, Wilhelm. Oh, Admiral Wells, good evening. 
Wonderful to see you, Phase 2. <clears throat> Miss along. I've come directly from the Biotist Castle. Why does everyone keep mentioning him? That, that, that boob? The tension in the streets is growing. I see. I'll be on the alert. As will I. And the Corvax. No. Very good. Hmm. I'm an official guard. Official. I'm an official person. Uh, officially. You broke the statue. Whoops. Yeah. Sorry about that. I like your outfit. Did you make it? Yeah. <laughs> do, do you think I fit in? Do you want to? Oh. Uh, look at you. you man. I guess not. Me neither. So I don't know if you're much. Consider vegetarianism barbaric. Oh, Gary, you're a gorgeous. What do you think they're saying? Well, Lord Stupid Hat wants to borrow the skyship of Sir Badwick. That's a way? Clearly. Lord Stupid Hat has a map that leads to some shiny treasure. So he's saying, please, Sir Badwig, lend me your ship and I'll let you keep half of my booty. And Badwig says, good polish my pewter. That skyship's worth more than all of our booties put together. <laughs> the treasure map leads to the tree. The right? great tree? Have you been to see it? Well, yeah. I mean, I was just there. Uh, before I came here, I mean. I wish I could go. I've never been outside the castle. What's it like? Outside? It's full of adventure. I should know. After all, I'm, I'm a cloud pirate adventurer of the high skies. <laughs> Poor Huxley. Actually, I'm going back to the tree later tonight. You could come along. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. This, my trusted technocrats, is truly a great moment in our history. Unlike my previous mechanical creations, what you are about to see is technoscience not only capable of thinking, but of feeling. Uh -huh. This is our future. With this unique machine that matches our own physiology. There's no problem that technoscience that I cannot solve. Witness my greatest triumph. Clockwork. Settle down, everyone. The Tinker has never let us down. She's probably just invisible. Is she invisible? No, she's copper. Burn the castle. We're everywhere. There! And the father replies, the technocrat! Yikes. That biotest monster's got her. Capture the creature. <laughs> He's only a boy, bees. Ah. 
Are you hurt? Are you hurt? I'm asking you a question. Did it hurt you? Huxley? No. Why would he? Oh. You don't understand these things or what the biotists might do to you. Now you just stay in your room where it's safe. Well, it is not around. a request. Mm. Oh, what a shame. That statue really tied the room together. And she was talking to me. <sighs> There's no way she's gonna show. Well, maybe, 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 I guess. Hey, seriously, who, who wouldn't want to see me? What are you doing? Uh, hey, <laughs> um, you escaped. <laughs> You're the one who escaped. I just snuck away. Oh, yeah. That was exciting. I was worried the T-Bolt was going to catch you. What's a T-Bolt? Oh, the big mechanical man. My father made him long before he made me. Your father got way better at making stuff. <laughs> Thanks. I want to show you something. Come on up. Oh, you're very good at climbing. We're tractable toenails. I'm feeling things I never felt yes! before. Yes! Technocrat Manor over there. And that, that's the Biotist Arboretum, where I live. They're so far apart. Well, I, I think people prefer it that way. Hey, I, I just realized I, I still don't know your name. Oh, um, Tesla. Tesla. I like it. My dad made the Marmakeets the same way he made me. Guess he got better at making stuff, too. Get him! 
At least, I like to think he did. But you're not mechanical. No, I, I was grown. My dad grafted me from a bunch of stuff. He added a second heart and, and, and parts of beasts and kind of... I, I think it involves sewing. You have two hearts? Yeah. Here. <laughs> Thank you for showing me everything. Huxley, I'd like to show you something. all that? Those red bits? Mm, my father called it the blight. You, you can see the blight? That's where it gets thickest. See? Mother! This is mammoth! All the sickness, all the storms! Then the people my father helps. The ones who are sick, that's because of the blight? That's what the blight is. It, it hurts people and animals. It, it's destroying everything. If the blight is coming from the castle, then... trying to hurt people with the blight. We should tell our parents. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Okay, over there is Admiral Wells' base. That's where the airships are. Now, we should be able to borrow one, fly to the Ancient's castle, and return the airship before anyone notices it's gone. Should be easy. Hello there, little metal. We thought we lost you. Not safe for little text to be out so late. Woo! <laughs> what do you want? Hey! I know you. You're the most bio of us all. What are you doing with this tech? We're friends. Leave us alone. <laughs> Techs and bios can't be friends. <laughs> hey guys, check it out. <laughs> this one's all tech! <laughs> no. No. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, my lip hurts. Oh, oh my lip. I bit my tongue. I just got it. Uh, uh, my ankle. Can you swim? Seriously? Oh, yeah, right. I seriously doubt it. Just keep your key top down and stay close to me. I've got it all figured. 
come out near the core, right? It'll be completely empty this time of day. And from there, we'll have easy access to the docking branches. You stick to the shadows, stay quiet, and run to the nearest airship. You should be able to figure out how to fly it. Sound good? Sure. What about the Korvax? We're cloud pirates, remember? I know what I'm doing. There won't be a Korvax in sight. Let's go! Huxley? I see Korvax. Where have you taken Huxley? Where's Huxley? The Tinkerer has been informed of your presence here. Oh, I... But we've discovered something important about the Ancient's Castle. The Ancient's Castle is forbidden. We need to go... The Ancient's Castle is forbidden! Get her out of here. Restrict her to one of the upper cells. I didn't expect your arrival so soon. Where is she? We have her contained. Has she been hurt? Is she... She appears undamaged. I doubt the monster boy has affected her worth. That beast should be kept in a cage like the rest of Denvis's mistakes. I think you'll be satisfied by his punishment. Thank you, Admiral. And thank you for rescuing my clockwork girl. I'll take her home now. Patience. Your construction will be returned to you once we've performed the necessary cleansing. What do you mean? The monster's influence has made her... Mm, less than pure. We'll let her wind down and erase her memory. She'll then be returned to you uncorrupted. A blank slate. But... But she'll be helpless. She won't remember anything. She won't even re remember me. It's for the best. <laughs> She's, she's my daughter, and I will not allow you to lay a hand on her. You allow me. You forget your place, scientist. Don't forget what happens to those who cross me. You'll get your invention back. That's what matters, correct? No, I want her back now. You're fortunate that most of your construction can be salvaged. The monster will need to be disposed of. Disposed of? He'll be held in the sunken prison until he's executed by wire. Keep in mind that your clockwork girl could easily share his fate. Are you threatening her? Disorder is a threat. Foolish sentimentality is a threat. You cannot do this! Your anger is misplaced. It's the monster that's to blame for all of this. And do not attempt to go after her. The upper floors of the base are heavily guarded by Korvax, thanks to you. She's out of your reach. Very well, Admiral. I'll see myself out.
I don't understand. Quiet. I can't do this by myself. Now you're going to have to climb the tower. I'll go to the control room and I'll slow the Corvax down. Save my daughter. And try to ignore your natural impulses to do something stupid. <laughs> go! The blight's coming from the Ancient's castle. Tesla can see it. Tesla? what crazy people do, isn't it? Yes, it is. Corvax! Strike! No! You didn't know they could do that. Oh, the box are jammed. Someone's at the controls.
straight home. defenses and keep them down. That's the one place we know they're headed. 
Can you figure out how to fix it? I think so. I mended one of the interior propellers by using a piece of metal from the damaged fuselage. You're pretty good at this. My father taught me how to build things and fix them. Do you think he's all right? I don't know. <clears throat> at least Admiral Wells likes your dad, doesn't she? I saw them talking together at the unveiling. I suppose so. She always gives my dad a hard time. Now he's really in trouble. Because of me. People only listen to Wells because they're afraid. Afraid of the blight, of the ancients, everything. But we can change that. It'll be an adventure. Function. The Hydrobud? It's attracted to the smell of metal. Dangerous. It's wonderful for clearing the soil of industrial pollutants. Only you would stick something so disgusting in a hole and call it wonderful. If you're finished, you might want to tell me why you're here now. <laughs> trespassing in my arboretum, upsetting my Hydrobud. It's about our children. We need to take this more seriously. Wow! What a gem! Let's go.
You! Well! I suspected it would come to this. Where are the ancients? What have you done to them? You've made a terrible mistake coming here. We followed the Blight. You lied to everybody! You've been keeping people sick! And you kept everyone away so nobody would find out. You killed the ancients, didn't you? I refused to justify myself to a failed experiment. You're a traitor! I was betrayed. Left behind to keep order before you even existed. Liar! Does it matter what you believe? Not anymore. Huxley, I don't think she's lying. They did leave you. When the world got sick, they left all of us. And you... You took power without anyone knowing it. When the Blight started, I came here to the Ancient's castle to seek their guidance. But they were gone. They had abandoned all of us. Somebody had to protect Haraway, to guide its progress. You haven't protected anyone. Without someone to lead them, the city would have fallen into chaos. It fell to me to keep the people safe. I always have. I keep them from knowing how alone they no, truly no, are. No, no, listen. The blight is coming from this castle. The castle is a symbol of order, of hope. I won't let you take that away. You've left me no alternative. Huxley, we have to show her. We are not the helpless children you think we are. Oh, I've never once considered you a child.
could recognize these. Tesla, she's here. T-Bolt? T-Bolt, you have to help us, please. That guy? Again? Let us pass. But beyond that door. Only the engine room. Nowhere to hide. What are these? They shouldn't be here. Have you done this? Tebold, I demand that you answer me at once! <laughs> Do not speak to me as though I were a servant. So he can talk now? Wells wasn't lying. She didn't know that the blight was coming from the castle. Explain the meaning of this. This, this treachery. <laughs> <laughs> you should be honored. You just met the greatest inventor of all time. So you made yourself taller. So what? This? <laughs> this is nothing. I'm talking about an invention that changed the entire world for the better. He means the blight. He started it. How? I worked in the Tinkerer's lab, studied the grafter's methods, and created a device more complicated than any human, any petty, selfish, cowardly human could understand. I understand. Shut up! Shut up! And when the Tinkerer passed me off to Admiral Wells, I found the perfect place for my invention to thrive. It worked. Then you're the reason the ancients left. Oh, they didn't leave. Let's just say they were the first victims of the blight. That can't be true. Ha! It's your turn now to obey my orders. To fear me. Ah! Now's our chance. You can't. It only gets worse further in. There's, there's, there's gotta be a way. There is. I'll go alone. No! No, no, no! It's, it's, it's too dangerous! You're starting to sound like my father. He was Cloud Pirate, remember? I'll wait here for you. I'll keep him from getting in.
tension is barely affecting the world below us. This already ruined lives. Even the sky is sick with it. We can do better than that. Uh, we? You're lucky. You have the chance. No, the honor to join me. To take the next step into a new age of strength, untainted by human weakness. I liked it better when you didn't talk. Well, there's a backup plan. <laughs> Think of it as a kind of cleanse. You and I make the Blight Engine stronger, thereby ridding ourselves of all humanity, plants, animals, all living things. We'll engineer others like us, pure mechanical minds. It will be an industrial revolution. <laughs> machine as you say you are. You wouldn't be this angry. At least I'm not some incompetent little parasite like you, with some patchwork dog boy as my great defender. <sighs> Though he won't be much use to you now, will he? I dealt with Wells so quickly that I had all the time in the world to finish off your little friend. So tragic. You will join me, you know, whether you want to or not. You see, all I have to do is stop your heart, let you wind down, and all your memories, everything you care for, will be gone. You'll love it. <laughs> Where's Tesla? Oh. Oh. oh! oh, he's fine. Dad, uh, look, I'm sorry we came by ourselves. We should have waited. Well, I'm sorry I almost hit you with a sky ship. Now, he'll, he'll never get sick the way father will. Your father will. And Dendrus. And everyone else. Not going to happen. You couldn't do it alone, could you? I understand. You were lonely. You're doing this because of him. Because of our father. You needed to make him see you. Table, you're my brother. We can stop this. It's not too late. Father can fix you. I know he will. He means something to me! No! Don't touch it! You need help! Let us help you! I need nothing!
Tesla, where are you? Huxley. Tesla? Uh, are you all right? Are, are you... Mm. Oh, you stupid. Tesla? Oh, Tesla, I'm sorry. Huxley? That's right. That's right for the same. No, 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 no. No, come on. We're the same. Without the engine, the castle will fall. If you want to live, we must leave this place. shattered. If these gears stop, she will Take die. one of mine. Fix her. Absolutely not. It's impossible. It would never work. Well, why not? Tinker, you've been crafting machines on humans for, for years. It should work the other way around. And, and Dad, you are the greatest grafter the world has ever known. But, son, it's very dangerous. With only one heart, you'll be very weak. Fix Tesla. It's hers already. Dad, we can save her. Wilhelm? Well, I guess in theory it is possible, but we don't have much time. Huxley. Drink this. Lie down. Can you get us out of here? Don't talk. Careful. Watch your head. Steady. Uh, don't try to move just yet. Uh, is she okay? We don't know yet, son. Wait. Come on. Easy now. Hello, Father. <sighs> you did it. Careful. <gasps> You'll make him a new heart, won't you? Together? Well, that shouldn't be a problem, should it, Dendris? Oh, 
Not if you don't muck it up. At least they didn't call me Pickle Fingers in the old days. You're the only person who called me that. I may have pioneered that, yes. Oh, the same way you pioneered, bolting your foot to the floor? Now, hold on. That was a faulty drill. I still tell everyone about that time your first crossbred creature tried to devour. Stay out of trouble. Cloud pirates, right? Heroes of the high skies. Oh, yeah? And what's that? That you'll never fly it? Yeah, well, I'm more of a pirate than a pilot anyway. You worry about flying us, and I'll worry about hidden treasure. Where do you want to look first? Everywhere. Everywhere sounds good. For a start. Mm-hmm. <laughs>